made Rudy Gobert short to prove that he would be unemployed. This man relies on rebounding and defense too much, so today we're going to see what he does in the NBA without his best attribute, his height. So guys, as you can see, this man Rudy Gobert is 7'1 currently. I'm going to go ahead and shrink him to about 6'2", so that's pretty much going to take away any basketball talent that he had. So guys, he is now 6'2", as you can see. I did want to put him at point guard, but it moves his overall all the way down to 68, so I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to switch up his position a little bit. So guys, I wanted to keep it kind of fair, so I made him 6'4", I made him a small forward, and he automatically shot down to a 78 overall. I mean, taking a look at his stats, this man can't shoot. So this should be an interesting video. Let's jump into it and see what he does. So guys, Gobert is going to be the starting small forward in this team. I obviously shrunk him to 6'4", so automatically he gets a lot worse. I'm keeping his weight at the same. He might be a little bit chunky, but hey man, maybe he can use it to his advantage because he needs to prove to me that he would stay employed in the NBA. So guys, we are at the All-Star break. The Timberwolves are 31-30, and 30, which is honestly a lot better than I thought they would be doing. Now guys, Gobert's stats midway through the season. First of all, 29 minutes played a game, 7 points, 10 rebounds. Somehow he's still grabbing boards even at 6'4", an assist a game. A block and a half a game, which is actually pretty solid. And then, of course, he's actually shooting threes, which is the crazy part. Now, he's only made a few, but he's still attempting them, which is kind of insane. So, hey, man. Guys, even looking at the plus minus, he is the best on the team. So, I mean, low key, I don't know if he would actually be unemployed, but let's keep simming and find out. So, guys, end of the season, Luka wins MVP per usual. Now, guys, the Rudy Gobert player of the year actually went to Embiid. So, I mean, kind of interesting there. We'll see if he actually made any All-NBA defensive teams because I feel like he still would even at 6'4". And Nas Reed, who was on the Timberwolves, is now the actually most improved center in the league. So, maybe, you know, getting Gobert out of there was a good thing for them. Guys, low-key, this man still has not lost his defensive touch. He made the All-Defensive first team as, you know, a forward. So, kind of surprising there because he's only a 79 overall and he's literally 6'4". But for the amount of money he's getting paid... I mean, he has to kind of be here, but so far he's proven to me that he would actually stay employed. I mean, guys, his stats aren't even horrible, bro. He's averaging seven points a game, so he's not obviously scoring the rock, but he doesn't really need to because they got dudes like, you know, Edwards, Cat, and D'Lo on the team. Ten boards a game, an assist a game, and pretty much two blocks a game, so he's honestly not doing too bad. He's attempting threes. Maybe he improves by next season, but honestly, to say he would be unemployed might be a little bit of a reach. With that being said, though, we are in the play-in, and this is the team we're playing low-key. I don't know if we can beat this team, so let's just see what happens. And guys, it looks like the Timberwolves are about to absolutely pounce on the Nuggets. There we go. We actually, you know, won the play-in game. Did Gobert do anything at all? 33 minutes played, 12 points, 11 boards, 5 blocks, 2K. What is going on, bro? This man is 6'4". I wanted to prove he would be unemployed, and all of a sudden, he's become one of the best defensive players in the league. And he also had the highest plus-minus on the team, so low-key, he has definitely proven his value. Guys, we are now officially in the actual playoffs as the 7th seed. We are playing the 2 seed Pelicans. I mean, this right here is going to be a tough one to win, but uh, anything is possible because Gobert is playing like a depoy even at 6'4". All right, guys, here we go. If we upset the Pelicans, I'm honestly going to be very surprised. Game 1 goes to them. Game 2 goes to us. Okay, you know what? I was not expecting that. Did Gobert do good at least? 8-13, 2 assists. I mean, kind of average. I'm not going to lie. All right, boys, game three. If we win this, we can low-key win this series. I'll believe in our team. Oh, my God, bro. We're low-key doing it, bro. I'm not expecting this at all from them, but look at Gobert again. 12 points, 13 boards, and five blocks. This man has turned into a monster. All right, if we win this, this series is pretty much over. And, okay, the Pelicans take that. That kind of makes sense. Let's go to SimCast and see what happens. Boys, this is game five right here. We actually have the basketball. We're down by six. If we can win this. Oh, my God, look at Gobert. Look how short he looks, bro. Nah, that looks funny. I'm not going to lie. That looks very, very weird. All right, guys, we're down by eight. Looks like we're about to actually lose this game. I don't know why Anthony Edwards is not giving it to Gobert. Gobert's the best player out here, bro. I'm telling you, feed that man. I want to see him. Okay, yep, make, makes sense. Shout out to 2K, man. This game is beautiful. Listen, so far, I feel like for $35 million a year, I mean, he's definitely not worth it, but he's actually a really solid role player. He plays great defense. He low-key is somebody, you know, that would stay in the NBA regardless of his height, I feel. Boys, here we go, Rudy Gobert can't even dribble i know he can't dribble yeah past the rock bro listen the man can't dribble i didn't change any of his stats Nas Reed for three he misses it we're gonna fall in this game and i mean that's pretty much gonna do it for the series because i don't think we can come back guys we're gonna go ahead and absolutely smack the pelicans listen i don't know what happened but for some reason 2k gave us the w for the last game so technically we're now in the second round i don't, I don't know what happened i genuinely don't know what i clicked but Listen, man, Gobert showed up in the last game of the series. 11, 13, 4 assists, and 4 blocks, and a steal. This man is a defensive monster, but he literally can't shoot. 4 of 15 is crazy. 1 of 9 from 3. Hold on, I didn't even peep that. Why are you shooting 9 threes, Gobert? You can't shoot the rock, bro. So guys, I don't know how we beat the Pelicans. 2K gave us a free win for some reason. Listen, I'm not going to question it. We're in round 2 against the Suns. Let's get to it. 
So guys, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, Gobert against Mikhail Bridges at that small forward spot is kind of, you know, like the same player. I feel like both of them are pretty much defensive minded players at this point and Gobert is proving his worst so far. Let's see if we can make the Western Conference Finals. All right, boys, here we go. Game one is going to go to us. We actually win game one. That is definitely a huge, huge surprise. All right, game two, boys. Can we win it? No, we cannot. Phoenix takes that one. Game three, they take that one as well. This is a must win right here. Please, we cannot lose this game and we win it. Thank you. Hey, Gobert had 5, 10, 2, and 3 blocks again in that game. Listen, he's not scoring the rock at all. He's kind of like a Herbert Jones. If I had to compare him to somebody at small forward, he would be like Herbert Jones. Literally straight defense, 3 blocks a game. We need it. All right, guys, game 5, if we can win this. And oh my god, it came down to the end. We lost by 4. If we won that, we literally could have made the Western Conference Finals. Gobert again had a pretty solid game, but honestly, scoring is just not his strong suit. Guys, this is the fourth game seven. It's a close game. We got Gobert on D-Book, so he's getting the best, you know, I guess, matchup, or he's defending the best player in Gobert. Gobert, bro. You cannot let him go by that easy. I don't know how that was 41% contested, but we'll take it. Guys, it's a one-point game, 27 seconds left, and we're fouling. Why are we fouling, bro? Come on. I don't know what that coaching was, bro. We should have never fouled. I mean, Book doesn't miss free throws. Come on, Book. Miss one if you love Kendall. Miss one if you love Kendall. Miss one if you love Kendall. He don't. That's tough. Guys, here we go. Our season on the line. We're down three, 26 seconds left. Well, I need a Gobert game tying three, bro. Here we go. Edwards with the ball in his hands against CP3. That's a baby. Edwards, jump shot. He missed. Are you serious, Ant? All right, boys. Listen, I'm not losing hope. We still got a little bit of time left. Anthony Edwards take the drive all the way. And there we go. Okay, three-point game. Listen, we're down five. I just want to see Gobert shoot the ball, bro. I don't know why. I want to see if that man Gobert can shoot. Jalen Noel for three. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much the series right there. Hey, we at least had a good season. Boys, Grizzlies, Hawks finals. The Grizzlies win the championship. No surprise there. Jop puts up some, you know, steroid numbers. So, guys, I decided to give it one more season. Luka wins MVP again. Victor Wembat, rookie of the year with those ridiculous numbers. And Anthony Edwards, most improved player. Oh, my God. 35 a game is crazy. Boys, Gobert lost his spot. I'm not going to lie. He might have lost his touch in the second year. No All-NBA defensive teams. Not the first nor the second. So, I mean, that's a little bit weird. Hey, Gobert put up seven points again, nine boards, an assist, and a block and a half a game. So I guess it's not horrible. Let me rephrase. This is not good for 42 million a year, but it would be good for somebody that you know is an average player. All right, guys. First round, we're playing the Mavericks. They have Draymond Green. Interesting. All right, we're going to go ahead and simulate game one. Dallas takes that. Game two, Dallas takes that as well. Can we please come back in the series? No, we can't. That's pretty much going to do it right there. We get swept by the MVP, Luka. I mean, I'm not surprised. 2K loves Luka. All right, Sixers, Pelicans, finals, pretty interesting. The Pelicans sweep the Sixers. Zion wins finals MVP. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest. Gobert would not be unemployed. I thought he would be if he, you know, kind of shrunk his height. But at the end of the day, the man would still have a job. He just wouldn't be a max player. I mean, guys, listen, even if Gobert was shorter, he would definitely still be employed. He wouldn't be a max contract player by any means. But I mean, he would still have a job in the NBA. So guys, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like on it if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know what videos you guys are trying to see next, and I'll catch you in the next one, man.